What's up? Welcome to my channel. Today, let's see a top 10 soccer games for the Super Nintendo. Mega Man Soccer Mega Man Soccer is a soccer game for the Super Nintendo. Here the player to play as various characters from the Mega Man series including Mega Man, Proto Man, and several robot masters. This game has exhibition matches, tournaments, and leagues that can be played both single player and multiplayer depending on the mode. The game features characters and robot masters from previous entries in the original Mega Man series. Each character has a unique special shot that will temporarily disable anyone that comes in contact with the ball. This aspect of Mega Man Soccer was met with critical praise, but overall reception has been average, particularly due to its perceived poor play control. Fever Pitch Soccer Fever Pitch Soccer or Head On Soccer in North America is a soccer video game that featuring an arcade-style approach to soccer compared to other titles that were released at the time. Fever Pitch Soccer allows players to have the choice of playing across any of the game modes available against with either CPU-controlled opponents or other players with the team of their choosing. Fever Pitch Soccer received generally positive reception from critics with praise towards the graphics, sound, gameplay, and the ability to upgrade the various abilities of the team players upon winning matches. The Super Nintendo version also received received positive reception, with praise to the improved graphics and sound from the Genesis original while the Jaguar version, though criticized for not taking advantage of the hardware, was generally well received and considered by some reviewers as one of the better titles for the system. Capitan Tsubasa Captain Tsubasa v Campioni Champion title is the fifth and final installment of Tecmo's Captain Tsubasa video game series. The game differs greatly from its cinematic soccer-oriented predecessors. It adopts a new gameplay with a classic view of the pitch and improved graphics. It features various RPG elements with special techniques of characters known from Captain Tsubasa manga and anime series. The game's story mode focuses mainly on Tsubasa's Serie A season with Lecce and international campaign with Japan. In addition, other characters like Kojiro Hyuga, Jinzo, and more. The competitions in the game are based on real major international tournaments like Asian Cup, Copa America, and World Cup. In the All-Star mode, the players can create new characters. That is amazing! Super Goal 2 Super Goal 2 is a soccer game with the two game modes tournament and exhibition that can support two simultaneous players for one-on-one -on -one action and has 20 international teams to choose from including Germany, Brazil, Argentina, and USA just to name a few along with players modeled after their real-life counterparts. Players can customize each game to their liking including rule setups, stadiums, team formations, and including the soccer ball design. It features real-life rules and regulations and soccer moves including bicycle kicks and slide tackles. It also has a password feature for players to pick up and play at their leisure. Super Soccer Super Soccer is a soccer game developed by Human Entertainment for the Super Nintendo. Human published the game by themselves in Japan whereas Nintendo did it overseas the game has also been included in the Super Nintendo app available for Nintendo Switch Online subscribers. The game consists of exhibition games and tournament games. In exhibition, one can choose to play either a match or a shootout. In tournament mode, one plays until one beats all other teams. After beating all the national teams, the player must play one final team, Nintendo. When the tournament has been won, the player receives a code to play the game in a more advanced mode. Capcom Soccer Shoutout One of the first soccer games on the Super Nintendo, Capcom Soccer it is the basic soccer game with the basic modes, like World Cup, Exhibition, and Training, this is nothing special now, but I believe that fun game. The ball seems like it's stuck to your foot with super glue, and the shots are plain random and sometimes go in the amazingly big goal. If you play it against a computer this is a pretty hard game. You should play it and compare it to the newer soccer games. I've had fun playing this though, and I think you will too if you like old school games. International Superstar Soccer Deluxe I appreciate the ambition and innovation of International Superstar Soccer Deluxe more than the all-around game. A bigger problem is that the field of view is too close. I understand why they do this, the graphics are the best of any 16-bit sports game, but it's just too limiting. You can only see less than 5% of the fields at a time. 
you often have to go to someone off screen and refer to the radar display. You'll learn to sense where players are, especially as the ball flies through the air. Sometimes I don't know where I'm standing on the pitch and I'm surprised to be so close to the goal or the touchline. The action is fast, but it doesn't get out of hand too quickly. Players can shoot, pass, long pass or sprint. The kick is not instantaneous, giving the opponent considerable time to make a sliding tackle or standing challenge. On the defensive end, the game automatically switches players for you. FIFA 94 FIFA International Soccer, also known as FIFA 94, is a football video game produced by Extended Play Productions and published by Electronic Arts. This game was innovative in its time, bringing the following innovations to the isometric field, as in a diagonal TV transmission, until then the games only showed the matches in an aerial view, lateral or behind the goal. AI that respected tactical schemes. A whim in the sound of the crowd to transmit a little of the emotion of the stadiums. Replays and refereeing on the field. Weather differences that change the conditions of the match. The game has more than 100 selections available. All players are fictional and each team has 20 players in the roster. The game was a milestone in the year of its release. FIFA 97 FIFA 97, also known as FIFA Soccer 97, is a football simulation developed by EA Canada and published by Electronic Arts. FIFA 97 is the fourth game in the FIFA series and the second to use the virtual stadium engine. Unlike the first game to use the engine, FIFA 97 features polygonal players as opposed to the 2D sprites used in FIFA Soccer 96. The engine, however, received complaints for being sluggish in the PC and PlayStation versions. Frenchman David Ginola was used for motion capture for the polygonal models in the game, while Brazilian Bebeto was featured on the cover for the Americas and Asia-Pacific markets. The main new feature of the game other than the motion capture was the indoor football mode. There are six ways to play the game, including outdoor and indoor, as well as action and simulation modes. It is possible to play six-a-side football in an indoor arena with the ball bouncing off the walls, meaning there are no throw-ins and therefore a much higher paced game. Commentary is provided by John Motson and Andy Gray while the presenter is Des Lino. Multiplayer games are also possible with up to 12 players via LAN and 8 players using a modem. The game trailer's tagline was FIFA 97, it will blow you away. FIFA 98 FIFA Road to World Cup 98, or simply FIFA 98, is a football video game being the fifth game in the FIFA soccer franchise. It was inspired by the 1998 World Cup and was released for the Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, Windows, Super Nintendo, Game Boy and Mega Drive platforms. Like its predecessor FIFA 97, it also brought the indoor soccer mode. However, this was the last edition of FIFA Soccer to feature this game mode. Indoor Soccer Mode was a kind of simulator of a futsal match, but with some slightly different rules, such as the ball not going out the side, and the goalkeeper's area was square. The bugs of the previous edition, in which the balls were stuck in the diagonals of the court, were solved, bringing great popularity to this game mode. The game has five different modes, World Cup 98, Friendly, League, Penalty and Training. FIFA 98 is the definitive football simulator for the Super Nintendo. Thanks for watching. Want more videos like this? Subscribe in my channel. See you the next video.